and right now it's my great pleasure and honor to introduce you to Ron Ranieri, right? Yes, that's Ron, correct. Welcome to the studio. Thank How you, are Brian. you? It's great to be here. Oh, thank you very much for coming in with us. You find this okay? Yes, it was pretty easy to find, actually. Yeah. Washington Street cuts right <laughs> through the city. It's not that yes, hard it, to find. Yes, it does. Uh, you are a photographer. I am. Uh, and um, and how, how long have you been uh, a, oh, very a shutter long time playing the Christmas Get your cards. first Rolly Flex? Is that what yeah, you It was actually a little box camera that took 120 film. Ah, great. I have it was like amazing home. when I got my first image back and saw it from the processor. Uh, so I've been doing it for a very long time. Professionally, I started uh, when I was 26. Mm -hmm. I started Positive Image. Yeah. And started. Pos positive Im Image is, is the business? It's my name of my business, name right? Name of your business, okay. And I started. Um, doing uh, advertising work, pretty much anything I could do. I was hitting all of the ad agencies yeah. in Boston and I needed to eat, so I was sure. doing pretty much everything. Yeah. And then I started to specialize in fashion and beauty. Mm -hmm. And so that, um, that worked out really well. Um, when you say fashion and beauty, are you talking about uh, runway work or, or would you be doing some advertisement stuff for, for magazines? Advertisement mostly. I did yeah. a little bit of runway work, but I, I don't really do a lot of event photography. So yeah. I would be doing magazine work, I would be doing uh, ads for designers and ads for stores. Right. Like Creighton Bowel was one of my customers oh, okay. back then. Yep, yep. And we used to do catalog work. Good. Um, so it's it's sort of evolved into what I'm doing today, which is a little bit different. I still have the fashion and beauty that I shoot, um, but it's evolved now into more of an art kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, at least I'm trying to make it more of an art kind of thing. If it's an expression of you, then it's an, then it's an art type of thing. OK. Yes. Uh, so I've, uh, I've just signed up with Canvas Fine Arts. Congratulations. Uh, my rep now for my artwork. Thank you. You're going to have fun. And yeah, it's, it's exciting. I've already been doing uh, several things with yeah. Suzanne. And it's, um, yeah, it's, be ready, because once it gets started. Well, you know, that's the sure. interesting part is that I've always talked about doing this kind of stuff, and it just seems to take forever for me to get to it, yeah. because I also have an architectural interior design firm okay. called Ranieri Associates, and that keeps me pretty busy, too. Where is it? What is it? Uh, it's Ranieri Associates. Oh, it's you? OK, that's my great. My own firm. Uh, it's on the, on the corner of Mass Ave and Boylston. Oh, so you're right, right, here right, right downtown. Right. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. yeah, pretty exciting place to be. Sure is. Uh, so, so the. Now I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I have a schedule of stuff that I have to complete. Yeah. So it's forcing me into really doing things uh, quickly and, and producing mm -hmm. artwork. Now when you, say, when you say you've gotten closer and more into the, into the art aspect of, of photography, uh, are you still taking pictures of people? Yes. So it's, it's still portraiture? It's not portraiture at all. Uh, you'll see when we put some okay. images yeah, up yeah. on the screen. But basically, it's, um, I still have models, and I'm investigating light, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, light is really what photography is all about. And so I'm now looking at the pure light, not what the light causes the image to be. Right. And so I'm dressing models with just light. And then the models are moving, and I'm shooting at slow exposures, uh, and uh, zooming my lens. And I'm not even sure what I'm going to get until right. I see it on the screen. Yeah. Let me, let me ask you this, uh, being somebody who has gone through the digital divide, I've done it musically, you've done it photography-wise, um, how was that transition for you? It was great. Uh, going was it from, like opening your eyes? It, it was fantastic because I shoot right to a computer. Yeah. So there's no question about did I get it, you know, is it in the can or not? Right. Uh, so it's it's right there at the computer. You can tweak it. You can make it whatever you want. Are it you to using be. Elements Photoshop? Are you using any of those? For, for oh those yeah, I use Photoshop tools? and I use Lightroom. I shoot right to Lightroom, so it's, oh, okay. so things can be tweaked right on the screen uh, immediately as you're shooting. And there's no, never any question about what you get. Yeah. If you don't get it, you just change it and say, okay, let's do this. <laughs> and, and it works especially well on the advertising side when you're doing a, shooting a model that's got a lot of makeup on. Yeah. You know, we first shoot the makeup and see how it looks, and right. then the makeup artist goes and does the touch up because she's looking at the image right there on the screen. Click, click, delete. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it was a nice transition. It was fun to go from, from film to digital, and you know, I find digital to be so much more powerful in film. Yeah. No question about that. Do you, do you miss the, black, the dark room whole thing of the image appearing for you? Uh, the image now appears on the screen, so it's more immediate. And, you know, I, when I made my first print in a dark room, it was a pretty amazing experience yeah, because you yeah. look at that image, it just sort of comes up right, right there. Um, I don't miss the smell of the chemicals. I don't miss, <laughs> mi miss mixing the chemicals and all of that stuff. Um, so I, I think of the, the computer now as a dark room right. and doing digital okay. dark room work. Right. Um, let's, talk, let's talk a little bit. We've got some great photography to look at, but let's, let's talk a little bit about your equipment. We have lots of studio, students that are out there li uh, listening. Okay. What are, what are you shooting with these days? I shoot with Nikon. Uh -huh. um, right now I'm shooting in the studio with a 300S, um, which is a uh, half-frame, very high megapixel camera. The files that come out of it 
are between 30 and 40 megabytes. Mm -hmm. So there are enormous files, incredible detail from yeah. that camera. Um, I use uh, Profoto lighting in the studio, uh, flash lighting. Yep. I hardly ever use continuous lighting. I always use flash lighting. So you're using flash with, with umbrellas? Flash with soft boxes, uh, not too many umbrellas. Soft boxes, reflectors, beauty dishes. Oh, okay. Uh, not yep. often with umbrellas, unless right. I'm on location because they're easier to carry. Right, right, right. Um, do, you, do you use your craft primarily for the kind of art you're doing, or is there a point and shoot in your pocket in case you see something unbelievable? There's always a point and shoot. It's actually <laughs> in my, my bag over there. <laughs> okay. But there's always a point and shoot okay. in case I see something. Because right? I, I, I'm imagining now that you've, you know, you've done that whole indus industrial thing, that industry thing, you know, where, where you're, you're getting the thing perfect, you're brushing people out, you're doing all that thing, but there must be a sunset out there. All the time. Yeah. Sunsets, sunrises. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's, I always carry my camera. That's um, great. I was recently in Europe and I have a, a nice small uh, Nikon camera that I carry on my neck that shoots raw files. It's yeah. a great camera yeah. and that's what I carry. All three are always had it with me because yeah. it's such a small camera. That's great. That's good to hear. Um, well, let's take a look at some of your images. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, you can see them right over here. Here we are. Okay, so this is uh, the first few images are my fashion and beauty work. Okay, that's fine. And we can just sort of speed through them. Uh, yeah. There's like three or four that do this and then it sort of... Um, we'll see, we'll see when it happens. Oh, I love yeah. that. I love light. I love light too. I think it's all about the light. This was for a magazine submission that we just recently did. And this is getting into the light stuff along with the the commercial work. No, you must have done this for you must have done this over time lapse because you, for the for the lights of the cars going by. Yes, this is uh, a very slow exposure. So you shoot the flash and it stops the movement on the models, and then you you have no more light except the car lights because yeah, it's yeah. dark out and all you see are the streaks of light. That's great. Oh. This is, instead of sunset, this is moon moonrise. That's fabulous. So this is what I'm talking about. This is the, uh, and there's a bunch of these images so they can flip as I'm talking. Uh, these are, there's models wearing nothing but lights here and moving, and I'm shooting with slow movement. Oh. So it kind of captures a look of fashion. So when you say lights, it's kind of like it's, Christmas it's tree lights. Maybe. Christmas tree lights, yeah. a rope light that you yeah, might yeah, see yeah. at a bar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so I've taped the lights onto the models, wow. and I'm trying to create what looks like fashion out of just light. So it's, uh, it's, an, it's an amazing experiment because, as I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to get. As I get into the shoot with the model and, and they start moving, I start to get a sense of what's going to happen. So I, I modify what the model was doing at the time or how I'm zooming the lens. So it's... it's and, a, and is the room, the room is black? The room is totally black. Yeah. The only light that's on in the room is that I'm setting my camera with a flashlight. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's a whole interesting experiment that I'm doing. And... Uh, I hadn't started doing this until about two years ago. This is the first time, two years ago was the first time I did this. Well, that's pretty cool. And how's it going so far? Oh, well, I like this, it's going different great. color. This is like spinning lights. The model is, is twirling some lights. Now, did you go in and change the light in elements or something? Or, or no, no, did, that's, that's the, the color of the lights? just got blue lights. Just got blue lights. Right, these right. are actually Christmas lights. I went to a store where, uh, after Christmas when everything was on sale, <laughs> and bought a bunch of Christmas lights. And so these so, are relatively new photographs. These are brand new, these yeah. are like a week old. And it's, a, as I say, it's an experiment. Right. So every week it's a slightly different thing. And when I have a model there doing a commercial shoot, then I just ask her to put the lights on and then uh, and we do something else. Well, that's right. The other thing that's that I've done is painted models with fluorescent paint. Is that and then this is still light. This right? is still moving the light. Yeah. Uh, actually, I don't have any of those, uh, yeah, okay. the fluorescent paint ones. But that's another thing that I'm working with now too is, is reflecting the light instead of using shooting the light. Now, because the, because the file is so big, how big can these images be? Oh, these images could be like uh, four feet by five feet. Yeah, right, 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 right. This is uh, fire twirling. Uh, this was a model that I shot, and she was telling me that she does fire twirling. So we went to the beach, and we started twirling. She started twirling the fire, and I was shooting. You could flip through these, too. These, there's a few of these. Now, how quick, how quick is the exposure for this? It ha I think it's relative, it would be pretty a quick. second or two. Yeah, yeah, it's not as long as... It's not as long as the other stuff, yeah. right. But again, it's just making... Because you've got beginning and ending of, of, the, of the light streak, which is really, really... Right. And I'm zooming here at the same time as, um, as the slow exposure. Yeah. So you get a double image of everything. Are you, you're on a tripod, obviously, I'm on a tripod, right? right. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's fascinating. That's yeah. really, really cool. It's fun stuff. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. Um, 
Are you doing the, Are you getting up in the morning and going to work and doing this? But you'll get the architectural firm. Well, too I get as up well. in the morning and I go to my studio and my architectural firm are in the same place. It's, it's right oh, on the shucks. top floor of the, <laughs> that building. So it depends on uh, on what I need to do at the moment, what I feel like doing at the moment. Yeah. So if uh, if I'm doing a commercial shoot, as I said earlier, I have a model there, and so we just continue to shoot and we do the art. Right. So I'm, I'm trying to blend and cross over between my commercial work and my my artwork at the same time. Right. And then if I'm doing some architectural work, then I'm there doing architectural work. Are you doing, work you're doing just primarily photography work for the architectural side? No, no, the what architectural side, side, I design what's, buildings. What's that all about? You're designing that's, buildings? Yeah, that's, um, we do nursing homes, we do hospital work, uh, office interiors, retail. Uh, we did a lot of work at the Seaport Hotel. Oh, really? We renovated the entire Seaport Hotel over a three-year period. So, so I was trained as an architect. And, and when I was in architectural school, I got into doing photography. I was taking right. a lot of electives as photography courses. And then um, continued to do that when I finished architectural school. And I spent my first, uh, up until I was 26, working just in architecture. Right. And then when I was 26, I opened Positive Image. As aside from geographically, do the two ever meld into together? I mean, when you, when you design a building and you think, boy, you know, I've got a photograph that would work perfect in this hallway or this <laughs> Not yet, because, it, because <laughs> art is relatively new for me, but it's oh, going okay. to happen. It's going, going to happen. happen. Okay, right. I certainly hope so, because yeah. that sounds like an opportunity. Yeah, because I specify artwork all the time for my buildings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, all the time. Um, when, you, when you go on vacation, do you put the camera down? No, never. Uh, as I said, when I was in Europe, the camera was around my neck all the time. Yeah. And it's not commercial kind of things. It's not shooting because I have to shoot something. It's just shooting right. when I find something that's really great to shoot. Yeah, but when you go to a party, do people say, ah, I'm not bringing my camera, Ron's going to be there. I'm no, I don't bring cameras to parties. <laughs> uh, if I go to a fashion event, I hardly ever bring a camera with me. I just like to socialize. And you let people know that Ron's not going to have his that's camera right. with him today. <laughs> Don't count on me taking all the photographs. But all my family expects me to bring my camera. Yeah, out. I would think they would. I mean, that's that just, uh, it's, well, I guess that goes along with the territory. Yep. Um, why Nikon? Why? Uh, it, is it I just was, a preference, or is it something you've just always had? No, I, I bought my first Nikon. It was a used camera from somebody I was working with. Uh, I was like 20 years old at the time, and I bought a Nikon. And so yeah. once you buy into a system, you buy all the lenses. Right, right, And so right, to right. move from one system to another is right. difficult. So that's the only reason I continue to use Nikon. So that's for you to grab a Canon box now, you'd be, you'd be starting over? Yeah, I wouldn't know how to operate it. Mm. Uh, but the, what happens is Canon and Nikon just keep leapfrogging each other yeah. with a better camera. So the Canon cameras are just as good as the Nikon cameras. Right. I just don't. are we going to get to the point where we're, we're, we're snapping pictures and they're automatically being d uploaded into wherever and just we be using this whole cyberspace com communication thing? I think going? we're there now. Yeah, I can shoot Wi-Fi out of my camera now and put it on, on a network. Yeah. See, I thought I invented that. I guess <laughs> I didn't though. I keep waiting for the time when I have a camera in my eye and I just blink and I've got a picture. <laughs> got a show coming up? Uh, we have. Several things that uh, Suzanne has, has scheduled. Um, we, we have a show at Mosier coming up. Great. We have a show at, uh, hopefully, at UForge. We're working on a proposal now Great. for that. Um, at 29, I'm being motioned to. <laughs> no, that's OK. What is it? We want to get it right. Neiman Marcus. You're going to be oh, Neiman, Neiman Marcus. Marcus. I forgot that's about Neiman Marcus. One. Do you have a website where people can go and get I do. It's uh, positiveimage boston.com okay. for the photography business. And what's the, what's the other? The Renary Associates is uh, rai architects.com. Okay. Ron, thank you. Thank you very much, Glenn. It was a pleasure meeting. I'm sure that we're going to probably cross. If you're working with this one, we're going to cross paths together. Great. I hope we do. At some point. <laughs>